All right, afternoon gaffer. So tomorrow we welcome Eastley at home in the FA Cup. Is there something special about an FA Cup weekend for you? Yeah, listen, there's an expectation that's going to be on our heads because of what we've achieved in the last two years. Like I said, when we got Mill in the third, third round here two years ago, I'd never thought we'd ever get to that stage. And we we done that and more in the last year's one. So it's another opportunity of having a journey and another opportunity of galvanising the club and community, which has been fantastic to see in the last 12 months. So it's a big game for us, this squad, for myself on Saturday. And yeah, we're hopeful that we can go and be victorious. Yeah, well, it's obviously a disappointing result last week out. How has this team recovered from that? Is the overall feeling in the camp still positive? Yeah, listen, for me, it was a very good performance. I have to say, I watched it back on the um, Monday morning. And for me, it was really productive for 60 minutes. And I felt that we should have had a little bit more ruthlessness and relentlessness in the final third. We've addressed that. We spoke about it. We've worked ever so hard this week. The prep in terms of Eastley, I went down to watch them on Tuesday evening against Scunthorpe. They're going to be a tough side to crack tomorrow. But we're in good form. We're in good spirits, we got good personnel coming back and available. We have nine subs tomorrow and that's something that we've not been able to do and we wouldn't have been able to do probably two weeks ago. So to have the, the likes of Jamal Firefield back, Lienna back fit, Erico Sosa training, yeah, it bodes well for us looking forward. Yeah, and then just a word on Eastley, uh, what are you expecting from them? You, and also by the fact that we had this exact game last year, which we won, are you expecting a then almost to come back with a bit of vengeance. I write about it in my programme notes. There's only six of their players that were in the squad on Saturday against Woking that featured last year in the FA Cup. So they've had a, a hell of a lot of recruitment in the off-season. Lee Bradby's obviously come in as the new manager. New management structure with Brian Stock as his assistant. I think they're an excellent side. I think they have a lot of strengths, as do a lot of teams in this division. I think that they are very good over the halfway line, very productive in terms of Charlie Carter, Ryan Hill, Tristan Abram that's come in this year. Yeah, we're not foolish. We know it's going to be tough. But like I said, they're going to reel off all our names in our dressing room and they're going to have their, their sort of things that they need to ensure that we don't get on top of in terms of the game. So we need to make sure that we're right at it. We perform. We stick to the match scripts. And if we do that, I genuinely believe we'll get the result come 5pm. Yeah, and then just a word on players returning. Is, uh, is the squad looking much healthier now? Like I touched on, Eriko trained this week. Yeah. Jammer's now had his second full week, so he is fit and available for selection. Um, Connor Stevens is still recovering from his op. Dion Kelly Evans goes in, I believe, next week, early next week. And yeah, for me, it's just really, we've got near enough everyone back and available. It's a 21, 22 man squad, and we've only really got the long term injury of Connor and Dion. So we're looking a lot healthier. Um, it's been a long slog in terms of getting that treatment room empty over the last four to six weeks. But for us now, it's very competitive. We had a good 9v9 yesterday and a good bubbly session today. And there's there's high spirits within the group. And this will only bring competitiveness and ensuring people perform and, and given the opportunity with regards to a start. So looking forward to it tomorrow. Really excited in terms of our game plan, how it pans out and... Like you said, it's FA Cup weekend. Let's hope the fans come out in their numbers and get right behind us because they were instrumental in, in our journey last year. And like I said, let's, let's hope we can go on another one.